Sifuna kuna tika Petro Sokala, chapter 2, verse 7. Kuni ngoko bakolo ayo li imbeko. Ke kwa bangevayo, ilike abalikwe gisayo abaki. Lelo nalaba intoko ye mbombo. Verse 8. Ililike ke loku wisa. Iliwa ke loku kubekisa. Kwa boba kubekayo. Benga liva ilizwi. Into ke leyo aba miselwe no kumiselwa yona. Verse 9. Keni na nisisi zuguluwa na esinyuliweyo. Isibingeleli esibuku mkani. Ushanga olu nwele. Abantu abayingobo. Ukuze ni vakali se isiti masalo wa wanibizayo ukubani pume ebu mnyameni. Yes. Ningene egu kanye ni kwa ke ogungu mangaliso. Say Lord Jesus. Masiti kosu yesu. I receive your word. Salam kedi zulako. Lisikelele. Bless it. Egamen lengosi. In the name of Jesus. God spoke this month. He said you are going to shine. You will shine in his glory. The glory of the Lord will be upon you. We spoke yesterday on night vision. Friday. God said, arise and shine to rise. We said, it's another stage because you have been sleeping and the sleeping time it is that time when you don't know about God. And the other thing, the sleeping time, it's when you forget about God. Say amen. The Bible says, the devil comes during the night. The night moment is when you forget. He comes to steal. He comes to destroy. We said that is why you have to meet God. You go to church. You pray. You read the Bible. So that you don't sleep. You come together with other people. To remove the sleeping time in your spirit. You are called to keep on burning. Why? So that you don't sleep. Say amen. Say amen. So when you rise, it means you are growing to a stage called the shining stage. You reach the shining stage. We say many people they don't know the rising stage. And in the rising stage it is that person who is promising that there is life in this person tomorrow. Say amen. He is a rising person. We said many people die there. They don't know that the enemy is watching them of what they will become tomorrow. They have never touched it. But it is guaranteed. That they will become. 
The shining people. These are people who are rising in future having Jesus in them. They are, they are promising people. Even if the devil wants those people future is guaranteed. Somebody say amen. They are the rising people they are the promising people they are going to shine why Peter says they are the chosen they are chosen they are a chosen generation so that they will shine they are taken out out of darkness into an amazing light. The amazing light. They are taken out of darkness. They are taken out of ordinary people to Jesus who is in them. There is something rising. They have not touched it. But they are going somewhere. The enemy is afraid of those people. Because they are rising. They are chosen. To shine. Jesus in them. Has taken them out. Out of darkness. They are not the people of the world. They are chosen. They are set apart. Godly people. To shine. They will not die. As long as Jesus is in them. They live right. Because. They are promising people. They are the hope of the heaven. God has to secure them. Because tomorrow he trust them. He had to secure these people. Because that tomorrow is in these people. He has to keep them in difficult times in mountain times God is with these people they've got nothing on their hands but something in them they are promising and when the enemy looks them he says watch he sent demons to attack them to kill them so that they say God has forsaken us but these people they have to know that they are the promising people they must know that's why many people when they don't see the manifestation of the blessing in them they say God has forsaken God will never leave his people there are people who are chosen by God the devil likes or not God has chosen they are the perpetual people they are chosen even if you hate them they are chosen even if you don't want them he's chosen and the problem is is when this person doesn't know that he's chosen to shine why is he rising because when you rise many things happen if you don't know that you are a chosen you must know that you are rising 
have got nothing now. You have got nothing now. But do me a favor. Don't throw away Jesus. Jesus. That Jesus in you. That Jesus in you. Don't throw him down. In the sufferings you have. Don't put Jesus away. Understand. You are a promising. When the heavens look you. They say something is happening. I've got someone growing. Kibadaza. Yes. Kibadaza. Thank you, Jesus. Kabadakosh. My father. No one. Chosen. By God. Will end. Before he finishes the chain. You will finish the chain. Problems mean nothing. Yours is to know who you are. Know who you are. Understand who you are. Don't interpret your situation in a chilling way. Let every situation reminds you who you are. That you are chosen. Why they persecute you? You are chosen. Why poverty comes? It's because you are chosen. You are still rising. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. You are promising now. The problem is, you cannot see yourself. But you need to know what you know. You don't see. You know. Don't demand your knowledge to see. Your knowledge is in you. Don't want to see your knowledge. Knowledge is good for you. Is good in you. It will help you. Because it's for you. You must know. My was you are chosen. You are a child of God. Future is guaranteed. It's approved. Why a foot in love? It's guaranteed. Poverty cannot take it away. You are the best enemy of yourself. Many people like to. Are chosen. When I want you, you are chosen. You are chosen. Alone. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are You are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are chosen. You are you are not like anybody. This is not a uniform choosing. You are unique. You are unique. You have your future. That's why you have accepted your Jesus. He is your Jesus. He is in you. He is going to rise up with you. He is going to go with you. He knows what you are facing. He lives in you. He has not forsaken you. That is why I say when you rise, enemies can see you. 
that you are rising. Why you don't see you? The enemy see you. That you have a future. But you don't know. That you have a future. He sees you clearly. He is sure of that. Why? Because of Jesus in you. That is why he enjoys when you come out of Jesus. He claps. He knows that though you were promising, but now you are no longer promising. And many people they lose that state by forgetting that they are chosen. There are things you must know in life. One, why are you not dead? It's a question that you must ring in your mind. Why are you still alive? You are kept for a reason. You are chosen. That is why many are still to be chosen. They are kept in the grace of not dying. They don't have Jesus. They don't have Jesus. They're supposed to die. They are kept in the grace to be saved. But now, they are not saved. What's happening there? They are not saved. They are not saved now. But they are still alive. They are supposed to be buried. But they are still alive. They don't go to church. They are in alcohol. They are in the street. But still kept. They are troublemakers. Some are in prison. Some are in drugs. They are kept in the grace that will lead them to be born again. And that again will end. And the second grace time is when you are born again. And that grace, many are dead, but you are still alive. There is Jesus in you. You fit to go to heaven, but you don't die. Some sin. But God keep them. Why? They are kept in the grace to shine whilst they are on earth. There are things they have to accomplish. God is giving them grace to survive, to live. Though they are supposed to die, their journeys, they, it leads them to death. But they are not dead. They come late. They, they escape sword, things that kill. And they're still alive. But when you read papers, many are dead. But he's still alive. Why? He's kept. He lives in grace for him to rise and achieve. The other one. They are shining people. But many people are shining. But they are dead. But you are still alive. That is how you look yourself that God is still with you. Because when you look around you, there are people in your level. They are dead. But 
But you are alive. What are you doing? Are you wise? They are dead. Shield. They are no longer on earth. They will no longer be here. They will never. But they are like you. But you are still alive. They are like you. They trouble like you. But you, you are alive. We appeal. Why God keeps you? One, you see His love. We are born that you are loved when we are you are loved. Being alone, run away from things that we are loved. Saba was land out but in a certain. Come to a position that you are loved by God. Don't compare yourself with people. There is a special love just for you. That is why Peter says, You are a chosen one. Chosen from other people. You are chosen. Don't see problems. See being chosen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Jesus Christ. The Bible says you are a people of a royal house. Number one, you are a chosen generation. Number two, okay. a royal priesthood. It means you are respected. You are not ordinary. Believers must know themselves. You are not an ordinary person. You are from a royal priesthood. God is your king. He is the king over everything. And he is your father. Why the enemy hates you? It's because you are of the royal priesthood. There are things the devil will never take one, the blood of the royal priesthood. That is why you see somebody born again, but no longer in the church. But the blood of the royal priesthood still runs. There are people that journey but in Yes, my Lord. They are kept in darkness. They are kept in the devil is blocking. He closed and raised the soldiers of the devil to keep them. Why? Because should those people should they not take care of them those people will come out again in darkness there are people who are not kept they keep others in darkness there are those who have been in the house of God. They are kept. But there are those who keep those who have been from the house. In darkness. That is why sometimes when we pray, we pray Sensenjani. What do we do? We bring all those people with the royal blood. Of the royal blood. But in G, yeah, they've been kept. But they cannot come but out. They've been kept. They cannot come out. And we enter into prayer. 
and some then now pray. Kusuka majoni. And then the soldier will come. Obumnyama. And soldier will come. Shibuye na. And we just bring them up. Who are those people? Those are people who were chosen. Who are still chosen. But kept. They are kept. They don't belong there. Do you hear me? They are kept. Some of the people they are in the house of God but not chosen. To take people out of the house of God. They are in the church. They are in churches. To take people. To take those that are chosen. And send them in darkness. So the church, those that are chosen, those who are in the church, they pray with the blood of Nassim Kosin running in them. And they will call their brothers and sisters. Those that are kept, that's where the church begins to be dangerous. Because when the enemy has found your brother, your sister, and he's kept there, where is the solution? The solution is in the church. Let the chosen come together and pray. And as they pray, and the, and the head and will be trembling. Yes, Lord, it will be. Trembling. So the God will come back. So the blood in you, which made you to be a child of the royal, will always be in you. Even if the devil can attack you, even if he can strike you down, but he cannot strike your brother. That is why, in prayers that you must pray, pray to be a chosen. A chosen one, even if he is strong, even if he has not yet come again to be born again. But, at the end of the day, he's going to come back. As long as the church still prays, we are not calling people who are not chosen. You will never save someone who is not, not chosen. Even if you can preach powerfully. You cannot help someone who is not chosen. That is why the Bible says many are called but few are chosen.